Greetings! Check this out. No, literally. Check this little guy out here. Isn't he cute? Kimi Kawaweene! If you want to know how to intonate your Floyd Rose, this is how you do it. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to play my guitar and show what the intonation sounds like. So when you're setting up the intonation on your guitar, pick a string. And let's say, so today I'm going to use a sixth string here. This is an E string. Perfect E. All right. Now, that same note, an octave higher, which is on the 12th fret, right here, should also be a perfect E. But it's not. It's sharp. So that means we got to make this string longer so it becomes a perfect E, just like when you hit the open E. So in order to do that, we have to move this thing called the saddle back that's holding the string. So on the Floyd Rose, this saddle is being held in place by this little black saddle screw right here. When this is tightened, this keeps the saddle from moving. If I loosen this saddle, the string tension is going to pull the saddle right back. So we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is before we loosen up this saddle, is make sure that these are not locked, that they're loose. And then, now normally, under normal circumstances, this plate here should be completely parallel with the body, which it is right now. But what we're going to do is take this and make sure it dips uh, frontwards, I guess you could say, going this way, so it's on a slant. So in order to make that happen, take this, the screwdriver here, go counterclockwise on these two screws, and that will change it so it starts dipping forward. And you want to make sure you do a little bit at a time on each side. A couple turns here, a couple turns there. So let's take a look at it now. I don't know if you can see, but it is dipping in there slightly. And now next is get a block to put in there so it sits perfectly in there. And what we're looking for now is after putting that little wooden block in there, I had measured out, is we want to get that plate perfectly parallel again with the body, just like it was before. We got that. Now we can start. Before we loosen up this saddle, we're going to put the skyscraper on. I extend it out a little bit. Put it like this. Put it inside the saddle block hole. And what I do is, I don't tighten it all the way, just, just make it so it's a little bit snug. And what's going to happen is, when I loosen this, this skyscraper is going to keep the saddle from being pulled by the tension of the string. Now I could lower the tension of the string, but that kind of gets irritating after a while. So I'm just going to do that. Skyscraper is holding it in place so it doesn't get pulled back. Now I'm going to tighten it up because if the string is sharp at the 12th fret, you want to tighten this. Turn it maybe like two and a half times. Lock it. Release the intonation tool. This is open E right here. Okay, 12th fret. Oh. Open E, 12th fret. Just barely, maybe one more time. Up. 
open E, twelfth fret, open E, twelfth fret. Perfect. That's how you do it. That's how you get it done. And finally, the intonation might be done, but we still have that black that's underneath here. So what we're gonna do is tune the guitar to pitch, all right? Make sure all the strings are the correct pitch. Do that as best you can. Then you're gonna go back. You're gonna lock the locking nut up here. Make sure that's nice and snug. And then you're going to go clockwise with these slowly clockwise on each side and that will eventually start loosening this up and if it gets to the point where it either falls out or it's just easy enough to pull out that plate should be flat by itself without the help of this block so as you guys can probably tell i'm a pretty big fan of this thing um full disclosure i'm a complete moron ladies and gentlemen i give you your moron and i was able to set the intonation on my guitar with this. You can do it without it. There's more traditional ways of doing it. I never tried the traditional way. This works for me. This is what I'm gonna use. Now you hear there's almost no wavering in the tuning when I hit chords. Even higher ones like this. When I first did it, it wasn't working for me. And what I mean by that is I was using this to pull the saddle back, I was pulling the saddle back, and it wasn't fixing the sharpness of the string. So I sent an email out to Greg, who's the owner of Skyscrape Guitars, and he said, well, give me a call when you get a chance. That was pretty cool. He could have just walked me through email, but he wanted to talk to me. He coached me through it. And if you look at my guitar, see here, there's an extra hole here. This is where the saddle screw originally was in. I had to take that out, and he said, keep pulling back, 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 and there's a second one, and there, there he can't remember, but there might even be a third hole as well. After coaching me through the process, and it worked, right on the phone I did it, and then we just ended up talking about guitar geekery and all that. Ge geekery? We talked about guitar stuff, nerding out, and really cool guy, got along with him really well. I just think that says a lot about a person that's willing to go out of their way to just help someone with a product like this. He didn't have to do that, but he did. So, I mean, hats off to Greg. Yeah, you two should get a room, you know? If you're like me, even if you're not a total moron, and you just want an easier way of doing it, I think this might be the best way to intonate your guitar if it has a Floyd Rose. I could be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But, but this time I think I'm right. See you next time. <laughs>